Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this given problem 11 power 1 over 4 minus 1 times 11 power 3 over 4 plus 11 power 1 over 2 plus 11 power 1 over 4 plus 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this part 11 power 3 over 4 and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So this thing could be written as 11 power 1 over 4 and then whole power 3. And now let's focus on this next term 11 power 1 over 2. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and tweak its exponents. So, so this could be written as 11 power 1 over 2 could be written as 2 divided by 4. And now let's apply this power rule over here. So this could be written as 11 power 1 over 4 and then a whole square. So therefore our this expression could be written as 11 power 1 over 4 minus 1 times this thing I am going to replace it by this one. So I can write 11 power 1 over 4 and then a whole power 3 plus this thing I am going to replace it by this. So I can write 11 power 1 over 4 and then a whole square and I'm going to leave everything as it is. So 11 power 1 over 4 and then plus 1. And now we can see that we have 11 power 1 over 4, 11 power 1 over 4, it is common across the board. So therefore we are going to make a substitution to make our job easier. So let me go ahead and write down let x equals to 11 power 1 over 4. So therefore our this expression is going to be written as x minus 1 and this is going to become x power 3 plus x square plus x and then plus 1. And now we can see there's x square is in common between first two term and 1 is in common between these last two terms. So therefore we can write this thing as x minus 1 is already there and here I am going to factor out x square. So we got x plus 1 and here I factor out 1 and we got x plus 1 and the bracket is closed. And now we can see x plus 1 and x plus 1 is in common. So therefore we can write this whole thing as x minus 1 outside and here x plus 1 is in common. I can factor it out and then we got x square plus 1. And now let's recall this identity a minus b times a plus b. I'm going to apply on these two first factors. So that is going to give us x square minus 1. And then I am going to write down this part x square plus 1. Now let's go ahead and apply this identity once again. So this is going to give us x square and then a whole square minus 1 square and now x square and square become x power 4 minus 1 square is 1 but we know that our x value is equal to 11 power 1 over 4 so I am going to substitute that one so therefore this could be written as 11 power 1 over 4 and then whole power 4 minus 1. So therefore our simplified answer is going to be when we subtract 11 minus 1 is going to give us 10. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be 10. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.